hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and uh, so far we were discussing about the performance characteristic of measurement system and we know that the characteristics of instruments or measuring systems they can be divided into two categories static and dynamic characteristics Static characteristics are those which remain constant over a period of time, long period of time or they vary very slowly. Dynamic characteristics are the ones which change rapidly over a short period of time. They keep, they keep changing very fast. So we were uh, discussing about the static characteristics. So far we have discussed about various static characteristics, accuracy, error, different ways of expressing accuracy, types of error and in the previous video we discussed about repeatability and reproducibility. So in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, performance characteristic associated with measurement which is called as precision. So precision Actually, I have also said in the previous video related to repeatability and reproducibility that these two things are very much related to accuracy and precision, repeatability and reproducibility. So what precision means is that it is a measure of the reproducibility of measurement. Okay. It is a measure of the reproducibility of measurement. So reproducibility and repeatability, again, let us just have a quick look. Both of them, they mean the same thing. Closeness of output readings, multiple output readings that are taken by a device for the same input. And the difference between the two is that in one case, in case of repeatability, the device or the instrument which is taking the readings, the observer who is noting the readings, the operating conditions, the location, everything stays the same. It is fixed. And in that case, the multiple output readings, the closeness between them, that is called as repeatability. But in the other case where everything is changing, different instrument, different observer, different location, different operating conditions, different method of measurement. In that case, the closeness of output readings, the multiple output readings for the same input that is called as reproducibility. So in both the cases, the closeness of multiple output readings for the same fixed input that is constant. The only thing that is different is that in case of repeatability, everything stays the same and reproducibility, everything is different. So precision ex means in a way it is a measure of the reproducibility. Okay, The closeness of output readings for the same input in case of different instruments, different observer, different methods of calculation, evaluation, different location, different operating conditions that is precision so if we want to understand it okay if you want to understand precision it actually consists of two important indicators first is conformity and the second one is number of significant figures okay so let us try to understand it so here we have to again touch down on an important thing which is called as accuracy which is the ability of an instrument to measure the true value of a measured parameter. Okay, so it, again there are different ways of expressing accuracy, here error comes into play, everything. So the, we want the instrument reading to be as close to the true value. It is almost impossible to exactly measure the true value of a parameter. But what we want is to get as close to the true reading, the accurate value. So let us try to understand precision. Okay. So suppose 
we are doing some target practice okay in that case what we want is that we want to hit the middle spot that will mean that uh, we are getting the accurate result the middle part suppose uh, the uh, shooter who is participating in this competition of hitting the target he has some trials he can shoot at the target let's say five or six times or let's say ten times so the more number of times he hits the target the middle one it means that he is accurate he is hitting the exact spot but can he do it on a consistent basis he or she can he do it uh, uh, on a consistent basis you know the number uh, the let's say five times he hits the uh, middle spot or as close to the middle spot so that in that way we can relate accuracy and precision so here in this case the shooter he is hitting the target on a consistent basis multiple times okay see see this grouping of shots all the shots it is close to the middle target the middle spot so here this is accurate and precise both accurate and precise accurate because it is hitting the exact target target spot the middle spot and precise because on a consistent basis the uh, the shooter is able to hit the target the desired target let us take another case here it is scattered all over the shots are scattered all over but the shooter is able to hit the target every now and then uh, twice or thrice he has hit the target or very close to it so here he is somewhat accurate but not precise because he is not consistent okay so this is here is accurate but not precise accurate because he is able to hit the target but not precise because he is not consistent in hitting the same spot then another case this so here the shooter is not able to hit the middle spot the desired spot not even once but he is hitting some other spot on a consistent basis okay he is hitting some other spot on a consistent basis so here the shooter is precise but not accurate okay and this is an example of the worst case scenario that is the shots are scattered all over and not even once is able to hit the middle the desired portion the desired target so here it is not even accurate or precise so in a way we if we want to correlate it with measurement suppose uh the true value of uh, a reading of a pa measured parameter let's say it is 5 units that is the true value okay that is the true value of a measured parameter and uh, a device gives us readings let's say uh, it gives us readings uh 5.1 5.2 4.9 4.8 5.0 like that it gives us reading so here these groupings th they resemble this we are getting close to the true value which is 5 units and we are able to do so on a consistent basis this is this thing in this case what happens let's say the true value is again 5 units okay the true value is 5 units but here the output readings are like this in one case we are getting 4.2 in there some case we are getting 3.8 in one case we are getting 5.1 in one case we are getting 4.8 in one case we are getting 6.2 in some case we are getting 7.2 uh like that so here every now and then we are getting as close to the true value in in case of these two readings 5.1 and 4.8 they are close to the true value 5 units but 
we are not able to do so, the instrument is not able to get the correct reading on a consistent basis. Okay, so that's why it is in, in, in these two cases, it is close to the true value, somewhat accurate but not precise. In this case, again, the true value is 5 units, let's say 5 units. And here we are getting results as, let's say, uh, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3 um, 3 um, 3.6, like this. So here the closeness between readings is very, you know, less. They are very close to each other, but they are far away from the true value of 5 units. So they are not accurate, but precise. They are consistent. Then in this case, it is not desirable, not accurate or precise. So again, the true value, let's say it is 5 units, but the readings are 3.2, 6.2, 2.8, um, let's say uh, 3.1, 7.1, like that. So not even one of the reading is close to this true value, but they are not consistent also, okay? The, the, the difference between the readings is very large, okay? They are not consistent, they are not accurate. So this is what uh, conformity means. Then we have significant figures. So significant figures, uh, we have already, you uh, know, uh, we know that what significant figures means. Let us try to understand with it with the help of an example. Let us say we have uh, instrument reading. We get, uh, let's say it is 255 volt. With the help of a voltmeter, we took the reading and we got the result 255 volt. So here what it means is that the instrument reading, the true value, which is uh, the instrument reading it should be close to 255 or there should be not any fluctuation on either side from 254 or 256 so it should be as close to 255 okay then suppose we add another you know decimal point to it let's say 255.1 volt so in that case the instrument reading should be as close to 255.1 but it should not be on either side 255.0 you know, or 255.2 like this. So if we want to understand this, let us say we are you know, buying groceries or uh, uh, pulses or any other grains like that. Here this you know point decimal point does not you know matter much because suppose we get uh, uh, extra two or three grams or 10 or 20 grams extra uh, in rice or dal or anything any other vegetable if we get 10 or 20 grams extra it will not uh, make much of a difference but suppose you are buying gold or any kind of uh, other precious stones or uh, diamond or anything like that here this decimal point okay these decimal points they become very 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 much important so here we want precision in terms of these decimal places okay because even certain grams of gold it costs a lot of money it is very expensive so in that case any you know any error in this decimal place it will cost us a lot of money Okay, so in that case, we want precision up to this point, up to this much significant figure. Okay, tens place or like that, decimal, this decimal point or like that, 10 to the power minus 1, 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 3, like that. But in case we are buying groceries or any other thing, here we just uh, want to be accurate up to this, uh, this decimal place. Okay, this decimal place. 10 or 20 grams on either side. Uh, if we get uh, less or more, it will not make any difference. But in case of expensive items, we want precision 
in after the decimal point it matters a lot okay so the two important things associated with precision which is again related to reproducibility the closeness of output readings and conformity accuracy and consistency and number of significant figures so they are all very important when it comes to precision when we want to define precision of measurement or precision of a measurement device so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much